Good morning, I'm Tina Jennings. Now, if you want some top-notch entertainment in an amazing venue, everyone in Tucson knows you go straight to the Fox Theater. So we are excited for Craig Sumberg to tell us what is in store for us for this 2016-2017 season. Hi. And it is like such a, a wide variety, but Craig, let's actually kind of take a step back a little bit. Uh, I know since the Fox kind of reopened back in 2006, uh, with some people would say maybe some ups and downs, uh, kind of getting back on, yes. onto our ups feet. And downs. Uh, but I would have to say it seems, especially looking at this calendar we're going to talk about, like we're on the up right now. Uh, we are. We feel like we've really stabilized the theater. Uh, my first year, which is now about six years ago, we lost more than three hundred thousand uh, dollars. Last three years, we've made money two of those three years and lost a little teeny bit the other. So we're where we want to be. We think we're heading in the right direction. This year, actually, we're on track to do much better than that. So we're hoping the fall uh, brings the people out and we have the great season we're, we think we're going to have. Well, like I said, looking at the calendar, I can I can definitely tell we're on the Thank right you. track because we've got some great names. It's a labor of love, and I have the gray hair to show for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the gray hair, yes. but we're happy for your gray hair because that means we get some great entertainment. Uh, uh, my pleasure. In in the end, yep. um, I know at the end, I know we're going to go through the list. I'm going to ask you what some of your favorites are, but sure. I, I want to start out with maybe stuff for the family. I know, uh, you know, we love to bring the kids out, and they have a great time coming out to the Fox Theater. Who do we have coming uh, family wise? Uh, we've got some great shows. I mean, three that, that are on the screen now. So Shanghai Nights is the first one. It's basically a Chinese acrobat show. In addition to the acrobats, though, you'll have some Chinese circus, uh, some Peking opera, so you can sneak a little Chinese opera in for the kids. Uh, that's going to be a real fun night. Next show after that, uh, specifically for children and families, is called Dinosaur Zoo there on October 9th. And that one is a, what they're calling the ultimate play date. These are maybe some of the world's largest puppets, dinosaur puppets. And the idea is you're in prehistoric Australia. So I think that's going to be real fun for the kids. And then the last one, uh, that a very electric Christmas, which is the day after Thanksgiving, so just the beginning of the Christmas season. And that's a wild show. It's like uh, dance, puppetry, technology, and some great music, Nat King Cole, Mariah Carey, Tchaikovsky, yeah. really a variety of uh, kind of musical tastes. Well, we have a lot of different for the family and a lot of different times throughout the year. Um, and then kind of like on speaking on the music tip, we have country music really being represented very well this season. Uh, we do. We always try and keep a lot of country on the, on the schedule. Obviously, a lot of country fans in Tucson. So right now we have, and, and just so everyone knows, whatever's on the schedule right now, we're always adding. So oh, it's yeah. always a good, good idea to check the Fox calendar or sign up for our uh, e-blast, which comes out once a week. We always announce the new shows. Members get advance notice of tickets, so a $75 member or membership or above will get advance notice of the shows. Uh, but the shows coming up on the countryside are Thompson Square. Uh, they're an up-and-coming husband and wife duo, and they're on November 13th. That show's actually not on sale yet. Okay. Pretty sure that goes on sale next week. Uh, their big hit, at least the most recent one, was Are You Gonna Kiss Me or Not? Yeah. Uh, that's always fun. And 10 other uh, charted country hits and just a fun show. Sawyer Brown's been around for about 30 years. They're one of the great old kind of iconic country bands. Great live band and uh, Six Days on the Road. Some girls do lots of great hits for them as well. And then my personal favorite coming in the spring, uh, out till March, Roseanne Cash. That's Johnny Cash's daughter from his first marriage. And she won uh, three Grammys uh, two years ago when we had her right after that Grammy win. It's a great show. Some beautiful music from Roseanne Cash. I'm glad we got to hear one of your favorites. We also have a lot of singer-songwriters. Uh, they're also coming in, and we're going to get to hear the we do. singing portion of it. And here they are on the screen now. Uh, singer-songwriter is great at the Fox. It's an amazing acoustic venue, as anyone who's been in there can tell you. And those kind of shows just really come out great uh, when you see them at the Fox Theater. So Mary Chapin Carpenter, uh, five-time Emmy winner, Nashville songwriter, Hall of Fame, just can't can't beat it for uh, yeah. you know that kind of song, uh, songwriter. We then have Mark Cohn, who uh, that iconic first album called uh, Mark Cohn, the self-titled. Yeah. And the song, of course, Walking in Memphis. He's actually, it's the 25th anniversary of that platinum, platinum selling album. He's going to be playing it in its entirety from the first track to the last. Wow. So any Mark Cohn fan is going to want to come to that show. And that is with, his, with a band. And then that last one is Bruce Hornsby. And that's Bruce by himself, solo acoustic show, uh, mostly on piano. 
amazing piano player. The way it is, the rain, lots of great uh, hits from Bruce Hornsby. Also played with a Grateful Dead for a while. He's just an iconoclastic yeah. performer. And then we can't forget comedy, which is one of my Cannot favorites. Cannot forget yeah. comedy. Yes. So comedy, we have a couple of uh, different acts coming, in different styles, I guess. Uh, we do. One's coming right up. It's called Who's Live Anyway. It's a uh, touring version of the TV show Whose Line Is It Anyway? And that's on September 10th, very soon. And that one is uh, almost sold out. So I'd recommend bet, anybody yeah. wants to come, please get online right now and buy tickets. Uh, Garrison Keeler, just uh, you know, classic Lake Wobegon and all of his stories, and he will be at the Fox on November 29th. So will, everybody will enjoy that evening of storytelling. And then David Sedaris is the comic humorist and writer, author, uh, Santa Land Diaries, uh, Me Talk Pretty One Day, and all kinds of great. He's just just a great uh, comic um, take on yeah. human life. Well, and I don't want to miss. We also have some blues and jazz uh, throwing in there. Yep, we're trying to give a little bit of everything. And you're not seeing our classic rock series. We held that one out, but the monkeys are coming up. Uh, Jackson Brown's going to be at the Fox. That show is sold out, unfortunately. Here in blues and jazz, we have uh, Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Not maybe known as well in the blues community, but he's a big fan of the blues. He's kind of a, a jam band out of Colorado. And he's playing with a bunch of what they call second generation uh, blues guys like um, Mud Morgan failed. Anybody named Mud's got to be a good blues singer. <laughs> uh, Billy Branch and Ronnie Baker Woods. And that's a tribute to Willie Dixon. Yeah. Willie Dixon wrote some of the greatest blues songs of all time, including Hoochie Coochie Man, which is maybe the greatest blues song of all time. So that'll be fun for sure. Uh, and then in the jazz vein, uh, Dave Cause, they call him Santa Cause. He's got five uh, holiday albums, so yeah. he's going to play a lot of that music. And that's. Um, in uh, December. And then that last one, Branford Marcellus. Oh, I want to mention on uh, the Dave Cause show, that will be with Valerie Simpson from Ashford and Simpson. Yep. So uh, she's a great vocalist. And then the Branford Marcellus show uh, with Kurt Elling, great vocalist. Branford Marcellus, part of that great Marcellus jazz clan. So just a lot of great music coming from the Fox. And really quick, I know I'm going to give all the details, but I know we have the gala coming up. Let everybody know the big name that's coming up for the gala. Uh, sure, but I want to mention, because before I do that, you've got uh, Temple Emmanuel, Rabbi Kohan coming on soon. We actually have a co-promotion uh, with them, a great show coming up. It's an interfaith concert. It's called Neshama Kalbach. She's a, a Jewish singer-songwriter and uh, sings a lot of her father's music with a uh, black gospel band, uh, gospel choir coming with her. So that's a great show for those yeah. interested in an interfaith evening. On the gala, uh, Boz Gags, one of the iconic performers of uh, the, this generation, yeah. Uh, just, you know, Lido and the Lido Shuffle, uh, Low Down, some great songs from the 70s and 80s. And his voice still sounds as pitch perfect as it did back in the 70s. You're we excited. had him about two years ago, and uh, you just, you'll really enjoy that show. Well, I'm going to make sure everybody gets out to the gala. I'm going to give them that information one more time to come thank out you. and see Boz. But, Craig, thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. so much to cover because the Fox is just really bringing it for I us. I appreciate the attention, and it's great to have people come down to the Fox. We're uh, where we want to be and want people to keep coming down and seeing us at our beautiful theater. Oh, absolutely. And the Fox annual Chasing Rainbows Gala featuring Boz Gads will, will take place October 27th. For more details, including other upcoming events, call 547-3040 or log on to fox2son.com.